Hey guys, welcome to Picture Book Drama, where it is everything in entertainment. I'm your host, Sean, your video and comic guru. Wanted to say thank you guys so much for tuning in to watch my new episode of New Comics. This is going to be for two weeks. Uh, but I really want to say thank you for all the well wishes you guys have been sending me since my uh, C2E2 video. That was a. Uh, still feeling a, feeling a little bit off about that. You know, it's definitely the worst experience I've had at C2E2, and it had nothing to do with C2E2, but check the other video out if you want to check that out. This is all about the new comics for, the, again, the last two weeks, so I don't even know how much money I spent. Um, it's not a big, big, big haul, but it's a pretty decent one, so uh, I will simply say before we start, please hit the subscribe button. Help me get to 700 subscribers. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Hit the like button so the YouTube algorithm will say, hey, it's a video worth watching. Go check it out. And leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are picking up. Leave me a picture. What books have you picked up? Uh, anything I forgot about that I may want to pick up. Hit me up. Let me know. But we're going to go um, jump in on the back issues I picked up. It's a little bit faster I could do them. Uh, that is still you know, a decent stack considering coming off of C2E2. But these are kind of issues to fill that in so first one I picked up for three dollars and my LCS before I forget is Graham Cracker Comics here in Chicago Illinois great place hit them up I am not affiliated with them at all but you know hey let them know you saw or they were mentioned in the video who knows they might hook you up I can't guarantee that they may just say hey cool <laughs> but first one I got is for three dollars this is issue number five of Green Arrow Rebirth this pretty much gives me every issue from issue one to issue 32 and the first annual so cool next up put my leg up I thought I um, had the Star Girl um, cover but I actually have the Power Girl cover which I think is rare so I still gotta find that one, but I did find for three fifty this issue of Justice Society of America issue twenty six. This one is the Mr. Terrific cover. I love this comic. I love this series. I am trying to finish it out. For some reason, I'm just having the hardest time finding issues. But I already had issue twenty six. But again, if this is a different cover, and you're gonna be seeing stuff in here that. I'm the guy who always says I don't like variant covers, and I have a lot of them in here, so. Eh, when you get a good deal, what are you going to do? <laughs> For $4, this is, oh, I can't even talk. From the new 52, this is Justice League, issue 23.4. Can't not talk. Hate being dyslexic. <laughs> but again, 23.4, this is actually the lenticular one. The one I got from C2E2 was not lenticular. It was a very, it was just a regular cover. So be on the lookout. There are two different covers for these uh, point issues, if you want, whatever you want to call them. I also ended up getting issue number 24 for this was for 350. So this is very reminiscent to basically it is a carbon copy of issue number one of Justice League New 52. And then, well, I'll wait on those. Uh, this I really wish I had thought about picking up when I was at uh, the con. Because this is a series I really want to finish. Uh, or at least this run. Uh, which Michael W. Barr, Alan Davis, and Paul Neary, uh, respectfully the writer, artist, and inker, were doing detective, detective comics <laughs> during this time. This is issue 573. I got it for actually three bucks very cheap and in really good shape it's not perfect by any means but I'm not someone that sends stuff off to be graded so I'm very happy to have it and now <clears throat> excuse me that will put a little fire under me to finish out the series that uh, Mike W. Barr and Alan Davis did it's only like six seven issues then the rest of the back issues are all Justice League New 52's these are basically the Dark Side War. Love this series. This artwork by Jason Fabok was great. Having uh, Jeff Johns doing the art or writing is fantastic. 
one thing I didn't realize, this was $27 for issue number 40. I didn't pay that. I was actually um, using credit. So pretty much all these back issues, I didn't have to pay for. I just used the credit that I had. Because there was no way in hell I was paying $27 for this comic book. But now that I have it, I'm happy to have it. <laughs> issue number 41, this was $10. I already had the book. Didn't know it. So I wasted $10 in credit. I could take it back, but I think I might just, I don't know, I might do a giveaway. Who knows? And then basically I got issues, uh, I mean, just such a great run. This pretty much just really completes my Dark Side War. And the covers that they had for these, I mean, they were just amazing, but they weren't cheap. I mean, this one was five bucks, this one was eight fifty. I did not know they had gotten to that point. You know, six dollars, five fifty, five dollars, four dollars. And you know, respectfully that gives me all the issues of the Dark Side War I was missing. So all the 40s pretty much are taken care of. I got to get issue, I think I still need issue 23. If not 23, 23.1 and 23.2, hate those numbers. Uh, I think number 26, 36, it, it's all over the place. So I got it written down, but those are my back issues. Uh, I think. Yeah, these are from last week. So not this week, but the first week of August. I did end up getting the DC Direct. These are always free, but they give you great insight on what's going to be coming up with DC. I love these um, editions. And Paul, I'll make sure I say his name right. I was going to say Paul Neary because I'm still thinking of the artist. But Paul Dano, who played the Riddler in The Batman, is writing this, ser um, this book or miniseries, The Riddler, Year One. Speaking of Batman, we do have four, $4.99. This is issue 126 of Batman. Luckily, I have every issue now, so I am very happy. For $3.99, we have issue five of Batman Beyond. I haven't read these yet. I'm waiting for, uh, I think, 12 issues. I'm going to read it in a row. But let me know, is this a good series? I haven't heard anything about it, good or bad, so let me know. Uh, for $4.99, we have Dark Crisis, issue number three of seven. I don't know what I think of this series yet. I don't know. Art's good, but I don't know about this. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> uh, for $3.99, this is issue four of six of Flashpoint Beyond. This series is fantastic. Love it, love it, love it. It's fantastic. Definitely say get it. If you could get Flashpoint, get it. It's so many great uh, books that came out around there, but jump on there right now if you can. Uh, next one for three ninety nine, we have issue eight of twelve of DC versus Vampires. I hate this cover. This cover is absolutely garbage, but it is the main cover, and I collect main covers. I'm going to be uh, contradicting myself a little later on. And I hate that. <laughs> but I'm okay with it too. Uh, next, for $3.99, I have issue number one of the new champion of Shazam. So now it's Mary Marvel instead of um, Billy Batson and, uh, God, I forgot the other kid's name, Freddie Freeman. This is basically what they did with the trial of Shazam where... Uh, Billy became the wizard and had to pass his powers on to someone else who that someone else ended up being Freddie Freeman and he had to go through the whole trials. It was a good miniseries. I do own it. Um, but we're doing, are we doing the same thing again? I hope not. Uh, next we have for three ninety nine issue one of six of the Sword of Azrael. Do you want to get the original miniseries that Joe Quesada did? Very good artwork, great storyline. Kind of hate where he took the character. Glad you're kind of taking him back to where he should have been, which is never being Batman. Next, uh, we have for $4.99, the final issue, uh, 6 of 6 of Batman Killing Time. Really good miniseries. I've only read the first half. I really stopped 
I stopped at issue three because I wanted to just read them straight through. I didn't want to keep waiting month to month and not know what was going on. I wanted to finish it completely. Next, for three ninety nine, another uh, series that ended. This is issue six of six of Batman eighty nine. I was about to say Batman Returns. Batman eighty nine. It took a while for the series to end. Now, I'm late on the game with this because my LCS ran out. This has been out for a couple of weeks, if not a month already. So, I'm just getting it because my LCS finally got a copy in my store. Or their store, I should say. Uh, the final DC book from last week. This is for three ninety nine, issue number 10 of Task Force Z. Hope to God this book ends soon. I haven't read it in about six, issue number five, and it started getting annoying, but I'm a completionist, so I'm still getting them. And they're on the cheapest end of a comic, so why not? All right, these last ones are going to be all Marvel. First one we're going to have, and Marvel at least knows how to, most of their books are $3.99. So unless it is not, assume $3.99. It just feels weird to keep saying it. But I think I'm going to keep saying it. So for $3.99, uh, we have issue number five of X-Men Red. This is a Judgment Day crossover. Judgment Day obviously being the Judgment Day, um, I guess, summer event that crosses over with X-Men, Avengers, and Eternals. So we'll see where that leads. Uh, next for $3.99, we have issue number four of Le Legion. Yeah, Legion of X tells you. I don't even know the full titles on these anymore. But Legion of X number number four. Yeah. Uh, for three ninety nine, we have issue number fourteen of Moon Knight. Possibly one of the best books Marvel is doing right now. Get them if you can get them. If not, get a trade paperback. They're fantastic. Uh, for three ninety nine, we have Ghost Rider number five. Just loving it. I'm loving the fact that they're bringing all these characters back. And I have decided to just jump all in because you never know when uh, the storyline might, when it sucks, I can leave. But at least I'll have the first couple of issues. The final issue I got from two weeks ago is for $3.99, issue number five of Immortal X Men. Again, another tie into Judgment Day. So you have those. My kitty just came in here. Hello, kitty. Now, again, everything else after this is going to be for this week, right now. And I got a good little stack. Marvel and DC, so... I have to first say that I have contradicting myself in this... I hate variant covers. I will, I will still say I hate them. But, for some reason, this week, I decided to get variant covers. I'm not a flipper. I don't ever plan on selling a book I don't already own. Nine times out of ten, I'll give it away. But for some damn reason, when issue number seven of Amazing Spider-Man for $3.99 came out, and I know why I did it, and I will explain it as I show you this, which I paid $7.99 for this alternate cover, I had a little bit of free time this week. So on Tuesday, I went and got my DC Comics. I didn't know that Marvel wasn't allowing you to pick your books up on Tuesday, so I had to come back on Wednesday and pick up my Marvel books. So basically, I picked up my Marvel, my DC books, you know, yesterday, and then I had a little extra money on me, so I picked a couple of extra books up. This week, because, or today, because I already got my DC books, I had a little extra money, so I think, I don't think you already spent money. You think today only. So I bought this. I should have just bought this. But I'm a, I am am a slave to regular covers. This is what the cover is supposed to be. This is what I want to own in my collection. This is a bonus. But it should have just been a pinup in the book. Anybody agree with me? Hit me up in the comment section. Most of y'all don't give a damn about that. But I don't want to pay an extra buck for a cover just because of the cover. It has nothing to do with the story. Hmm. Anyway, for three or four ninety nine, I have issue number two of Judgment Day. Since we talk about all the tie ins, we actually have 
the next issue of the uh, mini series. This again is Avengers versus X Men versus Eternals. Will it actually be all about fighting? Probably not. Alright, uh. I'm doing this one because Roy Thomas is writing it, and I'm a big fan of Roy Thomas. He has. He ran, you know, Marvel Comics back in the um, 70s and 80s. I mean, he was just great. And to have him writing again for X Men is huge. That's why I picked this book up, and it's only $3.99. And that is X-Men Legends. Definitely say um, jump on here. They say that there's uh, something very big happening in here. I don't know if that's the case. I just bought it because of Roy Thomas. Next, and I don't know if this is new. I think this came out last week. Uh, but this is $3.99. This is the new Fantastic Four, issue number three. So, got that. I think this is just a one-shot. I hope it's just a one-shot. Uh, it's four ninety nine. This is Ghost Rider <laughs> Vengeance Forever. Loving this cover. This cover is really sick as hell. Beautiful cover, but I haven't um, read the interior. I haven't had a chance to read anything yet um, on these. Okay, I decided, and you know, I I knew I should have done it when it came out, but I didn't do it. But I decided it's gonna get. Punisher. I still got to get issue number one, so I'm going to have to tell my LCS to lo locate it for me, and I'm going to pay an arm and a leg for a book that came out less than six months ago. So, yeah, I got issue number one. Or, issue number two. Issue number one. I wish I had number one. Issue number two. Issue number three. Number four. And the latest one that came out this week, issue number five. So, yep, I dove in on them. And I think those are going to be my Marvel comics for this week. So, I think the remainders are going to be DC. This one, I think, came out last week as well when uh, Asriel sort of, uh, the sort of Asriel came out. Now, this is a one shot um, to go along with that. So, this is. For three ninety nine, Sword of Azrael, Dark Knight of the Soul. I don't know why they felt the need to do a one shot if you're doing a mini series. Could just add in another issue instead of like having a one shot and then a mini series. Just me. I'm waiting on those because that's the one that is just it just tearing me apart that I, I fell into that one. But I did. You think that Spider Man was bad? Wait. Uh, actually, I'll hold off on that. Um, this one is three ninety nine. This is issue number four of the Jurassic League. Yeah, I jumped in on that. I don't. Know. Yeah, what are you gonna do? <laughs> For four ninety nine, I have Dark Crisis, Worlds Without a uh, Justice League, Superman, and Green Lantern. This Green Lantern one was crap. I haven't read the Superman yet. Being honest, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I got these. I didn't put them back. Issue 18 and 19 of Harley Quinn. These are $3.99 each. That one, I, I really, I always put them back. I keep telling them, don't give me, give me them, but they do it anyway. Um, for $3.99, I have issue 790 of Wonder Woman and issue 14 of Superman's Son of kal -El. Soon, kal -El himself will be coming back to the comics, and I, for one, can't fucking wait, because I hate what they've done with Son of Cal. And, ugh. Okay, I already showed you those. Uh, then I ended up picking up for $4.99. I do already have the uh, original cover, so like I said, I had a little bit of extra money, so in my mind, at my LCS on Tuesday, so I did get DC vs. Um, Vampire Hunters. Um, this one is actually the variant cover that is a, not, a takeoff of Robin number one, the mini series. So, really cool to have that. And then this week, a book, a series I love. Um, we have Deceased War of the Undead Gods, three ninety nine. Uh, I mean, this DC is really putting out a ton of different mini series. We have this 
um, Flashpoint Beyond, you know, uh, Dark Crisis, you know, DC versus Vampires, and then you also have the, um, I keep forgetting the medieval one, DC Knights, or, I, I forgot what that title is, but that one's out too. I wonder when, probably that next week should be the next issue for that, I think. But, very happy with this. This was a fantastic issue. I read this coming home on the damn train. I read this. This was very good. But, I, again, because I had bought my, well, my DC books were the only ones that were out, and Marvel hadn't come out until the next day, I didn't just get this one. I bought four fucking colors. <laughs> wow, I got the uh, take from X Men. I got this one, which is really cool. The uh, I wouldn't say so much as a die cut, but it, it's a really cool one where you can actually see Damian Wayne in there fighting some uh, zombies. And then the DC Corners. Uh, one, this one is actually the alternate cover that's supposed to have Supergirl on that cover, looking really sick and fierce. Uh, and this was, I think this was ten fucking bucks. I didn't even look. I actually just put everything together and just went up and paid. I think this was seven ninety nine or six ninety nine, four ninety nine, and three ninety nine. I spent twenty bucks, eat over twenty bucks, twenty five bucks on four comics of the same book I want to kick my own ass but I'm happy to have them you know I did that with this I got that DC vs. Vampire Hunters variant I have the Spider-Man variant wow you know so I'm a hypocrite I say I hate them but I buy them what are you gonna do it's my money you need to fuck along uh, <laughs> I am going to leave it um, on that. I am going to be doing a uh, mailbox unboxing video next. Going to be huge. Well, it's going to be decent because I have some comics. I got movies. I got NECA. I got a McFarlane figure. It's it's going to be pretty 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 huge. <laughs> I'm going to be actually um, doing that in the other room because I want to sit in my comfy chair. This wooden chair kind of hurts your butt after a while but and I got flies in, coming at me in here I want to turn on my air and get these damn flies out of here so that's going to do it for me guys remember please hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit that comments let me know what you guys are thinking what are you guys doing and again thank you for all your comments and well wishes from the previous videos you guys have no idea how much that keeps me going thank you guys so much so that's going to do it for me guys I am showing you a video on Comic Guru Remember, here at Picture Book Drama, it is everything in entertainment. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.